Hi, Youth to the People family. My name is Meg. My name is AJ. My name is Sue. Today, I am coming to you to talk to you about my favorite tool to use with my absolute favorite Youth to the People product. So, I hope you're ready. So, we're going to talk about our Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask this little baby right here. Isn't she gorgeous? The Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask is an overnight sleeping mask that's gonna help to lock the hydration in your skin to keep it from escaping overnight. You also have some really beautiful hydrators such as hyaluronic acid and squalene. You have some really beautiful prickly pear in here. So not only are you gonna get beautiful, bright, glowy skin, your skin is gonna be protected and hydrated all at the same time. For me, I don't have time to add a million and one products to create that glow and lock in that hydration. That that's why I love to use this mask, especially at night. Let's talk about tools now. This is my tool that I absolutely love to use with my Superberry Hydrating Glow Dream Mask, and it's my Rose Quartz Deep Puffing Facial Roller. So I love to use this, for one, because it helps me put the product in a little better and deeper into my skin, right? Because I'm rolling it, I'm ensuring that it's really penetrating deep, but then also it's helping in the areas that I feel like I wanna keep them nice and firm and glowy. Even in this lymphatic area here, I promote that detoxification and I'm rolling downwards. On my chin and neck area, I'm always rolling upwards. And then the face area, you wanna make sure that you're rolling up and out. And then what I love the most about this little tool is this little eye area here so I can promote some lifting and firming as well. Even with the best regular skincare routine, my skin still breaks out. For daily maintenance, I like to use the Kombucha Power Toner. This guy is killer for my skin. It is a combination of lactic and glycolic acid, which does an incredible job of really managing texture and buildup to minimize the likelihood of my skin looking dull, congested, or broken out. But even with regular use, pimples happen. Whether it's because of diet, stress, or just life getting in the way, I like to try to minimize the impact of those on my skin by using one of my favorite tools. This is the Ferreo Espada Acne Light Treatment. This thing is so innovative. It uses blue light technology and sonic vibrations to help target breakouts below the surface of your skin. It's ultra easy to use. All you need to do is apply this on freshly cleansed and dry skin. For that, I always use the Superfood Cleanser and apply it to the breakout or where you feel a breakout coming on. I feel like this is a great way to just help target breakouts before they happen and minimize the chance of me picking at or destroying my skin and having texture that I don't have time for. My favorite tool currently right now to use with skincare is actually my ice roller. So this little guy, you actually leave it in the refrigerator for up to four hours. I typically just place it back in the refrigerator overnight, so it's ready to go in the morning. But I actually use it most frequently with my eye cream. This time of year, I've got lots of seasonal allergies, so I feel like I can wake up very puffy. And so I really like to use this to not only be puffed in the morning, but also help to massage my eye cream. So how I use it, I take the YouTube the People Superfood Peptide Eye Cream, and I just dot a little bit on underneath my eye rub it in by itself it feels like really really good this has like a nice like cold texture to it and then I just take my ice roller right underneath my eye and I really do notice deep puffing but also a little bit of sinus drainage happening as well and it feels so good so this little guy is definitely a go-to right now during these hot summer days that we're experiencing but again once again just to help massage in that eye cream deep puff the eye and create a more contoured smoother look around the face to share how I remove the Superfood Skin Reset Mask. This is a clay-based mask. We use kaolin clay, which is a very soft and hydrating clay. And when applied very thick, it can be time consuming to remove. So I like to remove it by using the Green Sprout Organic Cotton Muslin Cloth. This is very gentle. It is actually a baby cloth. So it is great for sensitive skin, but also really good for the environment and removing a clay-based product. So I'm about to take off my Superfood Reset Mask and I'm gonna go ahead and use the muslin cloth. I like to use it when it's damp, but not dripping wet. Now watch how easy this is. Look at that. Ugh, 
so much easier. You know, I only started using these like a couple months ago, but they make life so much easier. I can even sit down and remove this face mask. One of my favorite skincare tools that I love to incorporate in my routine is the guasa. Guasa is a tool made out of stone. You can often find it in different types of stone like jade or jasper or obsidian. And the mist that I'm gonna be using today is the Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. So my favorite facial oil is actually the Superberry Hydrate and Glow oil from You to the People. Because you're just gonna take about four or five drops, use the dropper and just drop it directly into your hands. And then you're going to warm it up and then you're just gonna gently press. Make sure you get the neck area. And then that's it for prepping for the blossom. The way to use it is to not use the edge because it's gonna be too harsh. You wanna use the flat end of your glossa. So if you're using it in the neck area, you would start from the back from your spine and move forward to your clavicle. And you're gonna use the notch edges to just gently bring it up. And then you would do it all around. And then on your face, you're going to hold and you're gonna use the flat side of the curved end. And you are going to just gently pull upward. Use this end here to help with depuffing the eye area. So that's really it. It's really simple as you can see, and it's something that you can incorporate into your daily routine. It only takes about five to 10 minutes out of your day, and it's a great way to just unwind and to give yourself a little bit of self-care. Hope you enjoyed this video, and please let us know what you think in the comments, and let me know what's your favorite skincare tool that you like to use.